Hi, it's SPX. How you doing? Did you know that 70% of you guys are not subscribed? Also, did you know that I am living in those 70% walls right now? And if you want me to stop, you'll hit that subscribe button. What is up, you awesome kisters and sister reactor guys? Today we are back again with Five Nights at Freddy's news. I know it's been a long time since I talked about it, but I have to inform the YouTube audience of what's going on. If if you're not using Twitter, if you don't know what's been going on with the Five Nights at Freddy's movie news for the last couple of days, you, you you're living under a rock. You need to make a Twitter account because today apparently people are finding out that we have three Five Nights at Freddy's movies coming, and a couple of days ago they posted some shots on Twitter of the Five Nights at Freddy's film, but they had like a little thing in front of people, like the little scene thing. I'll show you. But here we're going to be listening to the actor for the purple guy talk about the deal. Oh, I haven't seen the club yet. Congratulations. Yeah, it's very fun. It's a three-picture deal with Universal and, and Blumhouse. So unfortunately, my day job is taking me um, off to work, which oh my I'm goodness. very grateful for. Uh, but I am not actually going to do three this. whole movies for Finance well, of Freddy's. Nobody luck. invited me to participate. See, this was this is kind of what makes me happy that we had to wait like eight whole years for the Finance of Freddy's film. Because like Scott's been getting some money from these books, he's been getting money from the games, and now like he could pull that he could pull all that together with Bloomhouse and Universal's budget to make three movies now. Like, that's fire. See, probably back in the day, probably back in 2015, we would have probably only got one Finance of Freddy's film, and then we probably had to wait all the way up to this year for the second one. But now, you know, with all of his money and stuff combined, we got three three movies. I really hope this Finance of Freddy's uh, one movie does good, though. I really hope, it, I hope, I hope they can make something great and strong so people can actually look forward to the two sequels. I hope it's not painfully cringe or terribly done. But, you know, see, seeing as how Scott is supervising all this, I trust in Scott, I believe in Scott, and he's going to make this movie pretty great, and probably the next two. But, oh, man, man. So that means if this film is following the events that happened in the first game, that means the second film is going to be, you know, Finance Freddy's 2, we're going to see the past, and then Finance Freddy's 3, we're going to see what's going on in the future. So let me know what you guys are hyped for in the comments down below, because me personally, I'm hyped for the second film, because, like, just, just imagine it. We're going to get the real-life Finance Freddy's 2 type of building, we're going to get the real type of office with some good budget, so it's not going to be like some um trashy-looking office, but like, you're going you're to get the dark atmosphere down that hallway, you have to look down and flash your light in. You got, got the dark, and creepy atmosphere coming from the vents. We may hear some sounds and stuff from it. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. All right, now here's the second piece of news that I was telling y'all about. This happened a couple of days ago. Ugh, this happened a couple of days ago, and I forgot to cover it on YouTube. This is them. Uh, Jason Bloom posted this, but this is Bloomhouse. I should just say that. This is Bloomhouse posting some screenshots of them working on the Finance of Freddy's film and showing us some scenes. They have this little scene thing covering uh, people's faces, so we don't know who it is, but they're calling this whole thing Bad Cupcake. I don't know if that's like their little code name from for the Finance of Freddy's film, but yeah, we, we got some pictures here. It looks like some something's happening in like a, a diner, I guess. Then you got something happening in some type of office. I can't really make these out. They probably did that intentionally, and then you got some complicated probably editing stuff that I don't know what that is because I'm not a movie editor or an actor or a Hollywood guy. I'm some guy under his bed making reaction videos as said on the channel trailer. But the thing that also got people very hype along with seeing that the movie's being created is we have a little Vanessa sitting here. We don't know if this means anything. This could just be that somebody likes Vanessa or someone likes Vanny so much that they put it on top of their computer, a little Funko Vanny up there, or it's a little hint that Vanny might be in this film some way, somehow. He might get some timeline collision. But then again, it really wouldn't make sense for Vanny to be in the Finance of Freddy's 1 movie, so I hope they don't cram timelines just to seem like it's cool. I hope they kind of stick to the story. But again, Scott's there, and I, and I trust Scott. <laughs> so I, I'm trusting you, Scott. It's been, it's been eight years, all right? We just finally got this movie worked on. Don't do some weird clashing timeline collision and then create sensory overload for us to the point where everything doesn't make sense, all right? I, you know, I'm just going to assume that Vanny is there for fan purposes. Maybe the person who's working on the films likes Vanny and they like to put it on their computer or, you know, it's fine. It's a Freddy season in the Bloom House or Blum House offices. So they got to put Finance of Freddy's stuff everywhere. I, I don't know. But if they do put her in there, I hope it makes sense. But 
At the same time, I kind of hope <laughs> they don't put her in there because I just want I want to see the origins of William Afton and the whole missing children's incident. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Vanny's there for just decorational purposes or just like an actual little soft teaser? Let me know in the comments down below. And let me know which movie you guys are hyped for. Let me know if you guys are hyped for this Finance and Phrase movie. Are you cautious of it? Are you not cautious of it? And hit that like button and I'll fill you guys in on more Finance and Phrase news. But I can't believe it. Three whole films. We haven't even got the first one yet. And they're working on it. They're, they just got to work it on it. Whew. I hope they start posting some animatronics. But anyway, okay, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. I'm, I'm going to be talking about this for way too long. All right, and there's also another piece of information that I forgot to say. I found this on Johnny Blocks' uh, Twitter account. Through standing casting calls for the Finance of Freddy's movie by Central Casting, it has been revealed that David Huston has been cast as the previously teased Ghost Kid 3. Ghost Kid 3? I, I didn't even know there was two in one. In Final Fantasy Freddy's 1, they didn't even show off, like, the ghost kids. It was, like, kind of implied that they were there, but, like, you know, and there was, like, haunting going on, but they didn't, like, directly show the ghost kids. So I hope they ain't gonna do some cheesy, uh, some cheesy little ghost kid, um, little, little, little family-friendly type of film. The kids should be in the animatronics. They should be scaring the office worker. But you never know, they might, like, show their faces or something through the animatronic suits. I don't know. I don't know what they're going for showing the ghost kids in the in the movie. Like, aren't the kids like supposed to be like in in the background, in the shadows, only in the animatronics, and like through the hallucinations that you only see for like a split second? I didn't think they would actually just go full send and just show the ghost kids. So hopefully, hopefully we're not gonna be seeing some cast for the friendly ghosts. Hopefully we see some stuff that actually scares us. You know? <laughs> oh man. What do you guys think about the uh, missing children actually having a role? It's kind of strange, though. I mean, I guess it kind of gives them more spotlight than the games showed, I, I guess. Maybe, maybe it could be a good thing. Maybe it could be a bad thing. But again, you know, Scott, Scott's there. <laughs> Scott's there. <laughs> He's going to handle things. I'm going to let Scott handle things how, how Scott would handle things. I, I, I believe in good old Scotty C. I'm going to keep scrolling and see if I found any other information I missed. Another worthy note to add that I found scrolling around on Twitter looking for some more news that I might have missed is we got Matthew on... <laughs> got Matthew, the purple guy, on Twitter saying, let's fucking go. The <laughs> the day after Jason Bloom had posted the behind-the-scenes look of Bad Cupcake or the first... or probably the first few scenes of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, in which, by the way, I haven't even taken a close look at this. Jeez, oh jeez, you guys can't see it. All right, now I, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to read these. I know this, that's probably like an actor's name or something. I don't know what this sixty-five means. I don't know what this two four four e one means. This is probably the timestamp in which things are. Uh, Bad Cupcake is probably the code name or the scene name. I don't know what, what what does all that mean. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I think I'm actually fully caught up on the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, news information. Make sure you guys follow Johnny Blocks as well. He's a nice source of FNAF news and gaming news everywhere. Anyway, guys, I'll see you awesome kissers later. Peace out.